welcome to the Red Booth Show. On tonight's episode, I have an awesome rapper named Bile. He's toured with some other bands all over the world, and he also does his own music. So come and join us. So hey, Bile. What's up? How's, How's it going? going? I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. you've been doing all kinds of cool stuff lately. Mm -hmm. I've been touring for like four years and stuff with different bands, and then I've been rapping forever. Yeah. So it's like I'm doing more of my own raps right now. Yeah. I put out a mixtape last year. I saw that. Did pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All the kids like it, so. What you you have that music video? You have a couple music yeah. videos. Uh -huh. I know that one that you did with. Um, Running like, days go by. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the one with all the chains and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the chains and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you're you're kind of being a badass in that one. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, you know. Yeah. No, it's cool. Did you um, like write the lyrics and stuff? Yes, I did. I mean, um, I write all my lyrics and the melodies. Um, cool. I have friends that make the beats for me, cool. and this is like I've been writing for a long time. I started writing when I was like 13 years old. Oh wow! Like I did poetry and stuff, poems. Nice. So, I've been writing forever, and then, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So how did you, like, first get into rapping? Um, I was in middle school, a Tupac song, I came on the radio. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm playing basketball outside, because I played basketball. Yeah. Sports growing up. Yeah, because you were, like, seven feet tall. So. <laughs> yeah, like, six, <laughs> like six, five a little bit. Yeah, no, but, just um, little. I heard Tupac, yeah. and then I started freestyling for, like, two hours, like, I couldn't stop rapping. It was like something came over me and I just started rapping. Whoa. It was You it was were like, like possessed with the rapping. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I finally was possessed. I don't know. It just happened. And then yeah, I started rapping forever. And then yeah. So it's super cool because I grew up with a bad stutter. Mm. And doing music and rapping helped me out with that. Wow. And I yeah, got like, like you all can't this even stuff. tell. That's yeah, amazing. Which is dope. So it's cool. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I've been writing forever, rapping forever. Yeah. yeah, I know you've been on tour with some some bands that are pretty big. Like, mm -hmm. um, I know there was Hollywood Undead. No, um, <laughs> I'm cool with them, but I started out with Deuce. Right. Okay. He's a lead singer on their first album. Right. And he went solo. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I remember. I met him in Hollywood, and then he was like, "Yo, you're a dope rapper. You're a cool dude. I'll bring you out on the road." It's like 2011. So nice. I did that for two years. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. And then, yeah, I met Falling in Reverse, a dude riding through my friend Lizzie, cool. and I've been touring him for like two years. So it's just like... That's crazy. I've been on tour for like four years, so it's like... <laughs> are you like, are you like okay, I'm ready to chill out in Los Angeles nah, for a while? I love, I love touring. I love meeting the kids. I love... Um, I love being on stage. Yeah. Because it's like... Uh, um, I transform on stage, so it's like... I'm a bigger personality. You know, yeah. so it's just cool. I mean, it's cool meeting kids and stuff. And like, I've been like every country. Whoa. Yeah. Like, Except for Africa and Asia, but. Whoa, we'll have to, you'll have to go there next. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I know you were saying you were on tour in Germany recently. Mm -hmm. In Germany, Paris, uh, Switzerland, Denmark. I toured uh, in Brazil. Whoa. Yeah. That's awesome. Colombia, South America. Australia and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we're falling in reverse. Yeah. I was on the road with them. So. Cool. Yeah. That must be so fun. It's a great experience. <laughs> it's very, very cool. So, so so you first toured with Hollywood Undead? No, Deuce. With Deuce. Deuce. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm no sorry. Worries. That's right. No, he left Hollywood good. Undead, right? Yeah, he did. Okay. He did. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to get into that, but... <laughs> Anyway. No, it's all good. Like we're, <laughs> we're all cool. Everybody's cool. Okay, so. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, what are you like doing now? I know you've had a couple that a couple special singles that have come out lately. Yes, I put out Hellbound, <laughs> January first. Yeah. And then um, I'm putting out another one, probably like two weeks. It's called uh, what is it? I recorded it on Friday. Oh wow. Oh, it's called um, it's a big summer song. Okay. So like it's more poppy, like it's more like it's more commercial. Cool. You know. Um, so I'm putting that out in like two weeks. Who who did you do that one with? A friend of mine, Riley. Yeah. He tours too and stuff. He sings and he raps. So he so. did like the beats and everything and. Not um. <laughs> I can't say who made the beat because he signed, oh. but a friend made the beat. I just wrote the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> a friend. No, because no. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, so... They'll get in trouble because... 
Oh. His manager will trip. They say you label. can't do that? Really? Yeah. I'm independent, so I can do whatever I want. Yeah. But not, a lot of artists who are signed can't really work freely, you know? So. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So does that mean, do you want to try and get signed by, by somebody? Or are you of like course, being, yeah. Yeah? I want a manager. I want to be signed. Because it's like, um, it's easier when you have that team around you. Yeah. You know, who have like all the contacts and... Uh, and friends in the industry. So. Sounds like you don't even need it, though. I mean, you. I mean, not, not to say that's not True. good to have extra help, but you've right. already been doing so many things and like traveling all over the place. And True. Yeah. True. But, I thought about doing independent, you know, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of stress. Well, I think that, you know, obviously we want to get your songs heard, heard here. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Very, very true. Yeah. And that's, that's, the, that's the tough part. It is. Yeah. But it shouldn't be, but it is yeah. sometimes. There's so many artists in L.A., uh, and so many good bands and rappers and so much talent like everywhere in Hollywood. You have like dancers, you have rappers, you have singers, you have like drummers and like you have a pool of talent just in this small area around totally. the whole world. So it's just like this, it's like hard competition, you know? Yeah. But if you're a good person and dedicate your life to it, I guess it happens, you know? Totally. So That's awesome. Yeah. So, so the band that you just toured Germany mm -hmm. with... How did you get introduced to them? Um, a friend of mine, Lizzie, I met them. I met Ronnie at NAMM like three years ago. Okay. A friend of mine, Lizzie, was like, yo, I'm a good person. He's like, yo, I should meet him. And then, yeah. Cool. I met him at a bar. We're chilling. Yeah. Oh, really? Which bar? Um, it was at NAMM, after party at NAMM. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, we just clicked. And like, uh, I love Eminem. Okay. And so does he. So we're just like bonded. On Eminem, like we just rapped all the lyrics from like when he was super young to like when he was older. Oh so wow! So it was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So now that you are doing more singles with your with mm -hmm. like other people as mm -hmm. well, yeah. Um, do you have an album that you're gonna put out just on um, delay or? I'm probably gonna do an EP pretty soon. Awesome. Yeah, I leave for tour again in three weeks with the band. I have a one off in uh, uh where is it? In Newport, Kentucky. I'm flying out for a show, Whoa. a solo show by myself. Cool. And then I mean the band on the road. And after that, uh, I'll come back home for a little bit. I'll try to record like an EP and put it out. So this summer. Nice. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because he's always on tour. Like I've talked to him so many times about coming and doing the show, but yeah. we were like always gone on tour. Yeah, true. <laughs> You're like, sorry, I'm on tour. No, it's cool though. I mean, yeah, that's dope. <laughs> Well, what's some cool stories about what it's like to be out on the road? I mean, you've been to so many countries. Um, I have some, some gnarly stories. <laughs> like what? Um, not but Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what is this? <laughs> no, it's not bad. No, it's just uh, stories of the fans and stuff. Like, uh, all the kids are really cool because I, I get to meet them and talk to them. And it's like... Um, all the kids think I'm like a massive, like a big deal, which is dope because it's like, I love creativity and doing art. So I put my soul and part and heart and passion in my music. Yeah. And the kids love it. So it's just like, um, it's cool meeting the kids, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's There's awesome. Some, some wild stories too, as well. But, yeah? Yeah. Like what kind of stuff? <laughs> um, I can like see him like thinking, wait, wait a minute, no, not that, not that one. <laughs> well, you have to imagine like most people have right. no idea what it's like All right, to um, go on tour. Like okay, that. so basically it's like you're a rock star or a rap star. So it's like there's these things that happen because you're on stage entertaining, you know? So there's people who just love that, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's and some cool. fights sometimes, like really <laughs> fighting over what? People get jealous and they hate that you're touring. So yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Straight up, yeah. They get pissed off at you just because you're doing. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I can say because I don't know. No, it's cool. It's okay. Yeah. I don't want you to say anything you don't want to say. Yeah. It's just interesting because I mean, being an artist. Mm -hmm. 
in the first place is quite a challenge because yeah. most people, you know, it's, it's kind of you have to break through all of the considerations that everybody has about how hard it is to make it, right? Very true, yeah. And then when you go and on tour. And many barriers, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you're actually going and performing in front of these huge crowds, like I've seen the videos and these are huge crowds that Beelay right. has been in front of. But, I mean, it's for the band that I'm with. Yeah. And they've been grinding for like 10 years. Yeah. Singer Ronnie Racky, like, uh, I live with them and stuff and I see him work. Yeah. I'm there when he records, so I see how much hard work it takes to get there, actually, you know? And, like, he works his ass off. And it's just, like, he just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, you can't get, like, that without doing that, I think. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. It takes a lot of hard work and talent and yeah. perseverance, you know? Because it's, like, I mean, I haven't had a normal job in, like, four years. So it's not like I'm just, like, I'm doing music. I, like, have to save money and spend wisely or else I can't tour and I gotta work a 40 hour job because it's like, you know? No. So it's, exactly, so it's like, <laughs> I can't work, so just like, I'm just uh, grinding, you know, hustling. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, the fact that you can pay for whatever you need with doing music. Exactly. That's that's like a huge it's step It's a right blessing, there. straight up. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. That's already like major, major thing right there. Major. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. how can people like, buy your songs and stuff um on itunes on the belay and stuff i have a youtube page and i have uh on datpip.com if you search for belay i have a free um a free download on my okay. mixtape and stuff and then i can put a link here on the show for yeah, you guys, so check it out and follow me like on instagram and twitter because i'm always posting up yeah. links of songs and everything and crazy videos in front of crowds wild videos crazy <laughs> stories wild things that i go through you know i don't know it's just crazy it's cool yeah it's fun so are you gonna go on tour with them again or yes in three weeks and then um i'm trying to tour solely too as well like i'm trying to set up some tours right now okay through some contacts that i made so it's just um showing that i'm ready to tour and stuff i have the songs and and I, yeah, so. Awesome. Yeah. It's super cool because it's like, um, I first started as a, a backup singer um, and rapper for Deuce. Right. And then uh, I toured him for like two years. And then I met Falling in Reverse, which is like, I do bodyguard work for Ronnie. And I also rap on stage on Alone with him. Wow. So it's like, he's giving me a dope opportunity. That's so cool. And then now I'm just like, I see... Uh, on how to do it, so I'm gonna do the steps, apply the steps, and then I'm gonna yeah, do it for myself. So, are you gonna um like do you actually produce the music yourself, or do mm -hmm. you have somebody? That, yeah, you do it. I do, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I have a, a friend of mine, Charles, who I met in Hollywood, just like on a random night. Uh, I recorded with him. Okay. Yeah. That's I awesome. produced with him. So, how did you like learn how to do all that? Like, use the software and everything um practice trial and error trial and error yeah. so you're self-taught i just normally write yeah like um i do the melodies and i write the lyrics and stuff and charles uh he started off doing rock and metal in paris france so um he's the main writer when it comes to like putting all the melodies and stuff i'll just hear the sounds in my head right i'll try to get them out so i'll like i'll hum something or yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. It's dope. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, well, what do you have planned for the future? For the future? Um, touring on my own. Um, doing shows, building my fan base more. I'm putting out dope, real music that people love. So. What kind of music do you like? Like, what's the message that you have given sort of to people through your music? Hope, basically. <laughs> um, I don't sugarcoat anything. So like hope and just uh, if you work hard enough on anything, uh, it's all possible. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I noticed that you send a lot of stuff out about like do, it, do, do what you love despite whatever, you know, other people Very say, true. right? Because it's like um, I meet so many kids online on Twitter and stuff who tweet me that was like, I'm going through some tough times. I'm cutting myself. I don't have any friends. I'm like, uh, um, 
I'm depressed and I'm sad. Like so many kids. And when I was younger, I did sports, so I didn't really see that, you know? But when I see it now, I'm just like, damn, like kids are fucked up. Sorry, you know? So it's like, uh, I try to give them hope because anything's possible. Cause it's like, I grew up in a rough place, you know? Where, but, where did you grow up? I was born in Carson. Okay. Until I was 13 and raised in Oceanside, San Diego area. Yeah. So it's like... Um, There's actually a lot of gangs down there. Oh, straight up. Yeah. Most people don't know that. You oh, think oh, of San Diego up. and you're uh, like fanciness, but yeah. It's a lot of craziness. You yeah. Know? You have, yeah. A lot of sex, a lot of crip gangs, blood gangs, uh, a lot of everything, you know? So it's like, I've been through it. I've seen it all, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, I give hope, you know? But it's like, um, I love Tupac, Biggie, and Eminem because it's like their music, they connect it to a broad uh, range of people, you Mm -hmm. know, races, ages, and everything. So I'm trying to do that too. So it's like when the kids hit me up online, I just like talk to them and they're like, oh my God, you're really talking to me, blah, blah, blah. Like, why? I was like, why not? (laughs) I'm not like... I'm not too big where it's like, oh, fuck you guys. I'm not yeah. going to say all that, you know? So I'll hit them up too and I'll talk to them too. So That's all the kids awesome. love it. So. Yeah, I see a lot of pictures of you with like all the fans and stuff. And yeah. Like you're super friendly with everybody. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they like if that. If they're not like, yeah. If they're crazy and stuff, you know, then I just like, I won't hang around them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what, do you, what? how would you know if they're crazy? Um, on stuff they say, like, uh, I was in Florida, and this girl was like 21, and she was like, yo, I want to have sex with you and make you have my kid. I was just like, I'm not going to hang around you. Craziness, straight up. Oh, my God. Married women, like. That happened? Straight up, it happens. Because in their mind, I'm a fantasy figure, you know? So I get some weird stuff. Well, you know what? You're talking about something that I think is actually so prevalent in the oh. music industry like they don't people don't talk about it that much and i did read an article oh, right yeah anybody uh, in entertainment i guess that's like you know has a, a i get it though because it's like i get it because it's like a person lives like um a normal life right and they want to go for their dreams but they're afraid so it's like if they see somebody um who's really doing it in their mind they create like a fantasy world and they're like damn I wish I can take those risks yeah. and like try to do it yeah. and live my goal or dream in life, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm a girl, so it's not the same for me because I'm not, <laughs> but it's gotta be like so trippy for guys in that such a, for you, for people like you in that situation. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you deal with it. <laughs> I guess there's some people who get into the music because they want that kind of thing. No, true. I mean, I definitely want it. I mean, <laughs> straight up. I'm divorced. I was married once, you know, so it's dope. It's like... I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, shit happens. I, trust me, I know. I probably won't get married ever again, but <laughs> fuck it. I was married too, and but I hope yeah. to get married again someday. For real? Yes. I still believe in love. You do? <laughs> yes. That's dope. That's cool. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Aww. Nah, nah. I mean, it's not a sad thing because it's like, I love my life and I love, I love creating. So, I put all of my passion into creating. You know. Totally. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy for you and all of the tours you've been on and all the amazing stuff. Like, I think mm-hmm. when I first met you, like you just had been doing it for like a year, like going on tour or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very true. Yeah. I was yeah. doing acting back then too, but I still want to act, but I'm just, I see music blowing up first. Totally. And then I transfer, because yeah. I'm a creative person. I, I, you know, yeah. I love just showmanship and performing, entertainment, making people happy, you know? Yeah, you guys should see some of the videos of him on stage. It's like really cool. The whole crowd's just like totally engaged with him. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, so it's fun. Cool. <laughs> I know that you have. Um, there's a couple of your videos that have gone like 
like they're really huge like they've got like a hundred thousand views or more like people are really watching them yeah so tell me a bit about them uh, i've been putting out music forever i just put it out on youtube and then um i'll tweet it i'll share it and stuff and kids like pass it around um yeah uh i shot lost my way about a year and a half ago and stuff it has like forty thousand views i think wow and then um yeah it's been like, just from tweeting it and putting it just like yeah psh, that's it been that's touring for like four years you know so it's like all the kids that like, really respect my grind you yeah. know and then uh i put out a song with ronnie on youtube because He's super famous already. It just goes viral. That's amazing. Yeah. And you don't even have like a publicist or no, I don't have you anything. don't have you have you don't have a manager. I don't have a manager. I don't have a publicist. Have... I don't have a PR person. I don't have a label. He has none of that stuff. So that's but, pretty amazing. I mean, uh, it's all like self-driven, you know. So it's like, yeah, I take time. Uh, I'm making posts every day, day, I'm talking to my fans, and it just grows. That's quite quite impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Most people need to have, um, well, just imagine if you did have, you know, people backing you up like that, publicists, right. managers, putting your stuff out there. Right. It would be so much more than you already have. Very, very true. And like, um, I see it coming because nowadays music, um, it's all like self-driven. If you build a fan base and tour and stuff on your own, all the higher ups see that. Right. And they're like, wow, he's been grinding uh, and doing his work and then they'll come and sign you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope that like that's it. what happens. That's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna happen. I, I was like gonna say it happens Rocky soon. And stuff. Um, he was grinding for like five years on his own, and then he signed for like a three million dollar deal. It was just off the bat because he put in the work. You know. Wow. So. That's amazing. Yeah, it's done. I'm sure that people will just if you're just gonna keep going on tour and mm -hmm. you know get out there and stuff, and we'll just have to get you a manager. That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, awesome. It's gonna happen, you know. It's gonna. Well, which video would you like me to share with everybody? Um, days go by. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, Maybe we're gonna it. check it out right now. Enjoy. How did you get to do this music video? Um, I did Warped Tour last year with that band. Okay. And then uh, a friend of mine, Tony, he shoots videos. So it was like, uh, I became cool homies with him. Yeah. And he has a crew of people who... Tony who? He works with Tony Tomasino. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then, so yeah, um, I hit him up one day. I'm like, yo, bro, I have this song. I want a sick video. He was like, bro, I got you. That song's banging. You're sick. You're the homie. I'll take care of you. And so like... I went up there one day and just shot it in like five hours. Wow. Yeah, so it was cool. So who came up with the idea to put like... Um, the chains? Yeah. It was his idea. And then uh, 
I thought about it too because I was like, um, I read a lot of books and stuff. The chain symbolizes like all the barriers and traps in somebody's mind. And I was like, I have to overcome that so I can like achieve my goal, you know? So it's cool. It looks it's so all great. symbolic. It's sick. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Finally right. got to get a hold of him. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>